Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Be Blind Dark Cloud. I am a freshly fed Black Shadow. Um, come off my lovely Christmas dinner. Garen and uh, beef joints. Plenty of veg, good help with the gravy. All very, very good times. I've now got myself my lovely bottle of uh, red berry and lime cider. Ah, good stuff. Anyway, so, uh, talking about Christmas. Uh, we need to talk about Ma uh, Matataki Village, of course, we are in the midst of trying to put this place together. We're getting there slowly, um, although we do have another trip to make back into the uh, Forest Owl. Wise Owl Forest, I should say, uh, so we can continue our work there. Also, I noticed something very strange off screen. I was just looking at this uh, waterfall here. So, you guys are going to have to correct me if I'm wrong somehow, but I'd just like you to pay attention to what's going on here. you got this water here. That's going down. It's a waterfall. Now, if you look at the water, all the water is also heading to the base of the waterfall. So, where the hell is all the water going? <laughs> now, I don't want to say that this game does not abide by the laws of physics. I'm just saying that what I'm seeing here is completely fucking wrong. <laughs> And we're going to leave it at that. Anyway, shall we get moving back into the Wise Owl Forest? I think we should. Oh, dear. So, yeah, so we need a few bits and pieces here. We need to find an entrance to the uh, the owl shop here so we can get buying and selling here, which I want to do very, very urgently. So, once we find something that looks like that could be used to open up, we are coming straight back out the Giorama and back, well, coming straight out and back into the Giorama, I should say. Let's get cracking. Alright then, territory 8. Okay. Our weapons, of course, are still looking pretty good on both sides. Both looking pretty, pretty decent, especially Toen's blade. Like, oh my god, it's coming. Let's go adventuring. Well, we ain't adventuring this side. We found the gate. Okay. Ooh. Ah, we'll go back to Ziao. Ziao can always do the experience. Nah, shit. <laughs> well, so much for that plan. Oh, yeah, I've just realized as well, like, considering that by now it's going to be like, back on, like, New Year's. By the time this video goes up, so uh, yeah, talk about Christmas, and that's probably a bit late now. But hey ho, I have to talk about the, the, the uh, about the present, folks. That's what I, that's what I'm living in, not the future, not the past, but the present. The present where you've got crazy, crazy mushrooms. Oh my god! Ah, not the hornets, not the bees, not the bees. It's not the same thing. All right, anyways, let's get this upgraded then. So we've got this with the mage, haven't we? Which is what we need to get hold of. As well as uh, beast and attack. Okay, then. Let's get this upgraded. Right. Does it need more? Oh, for the love of... Damn it. No. If it needs more, then I guess that's what we've got to work on then. Luckily, we've got a few Beast Slayer uh, tokens here, so we're just going to... Eh. Sure, just throw them all on. <laughs> if that doesn't do the trick, then I don't know what will, folks. I don't know what will, so... Well, so I have noticed as well um, that there is a slight hint of uh, of hanging in the game. Just as they we make that change of that menu, it doesn't quite like it very much. God damn it! So I have uh, I have noted this. All right, we're gonna end up this way first because I reckon the exit's probably not in the end of here. Although it's hard to know sometimes. We've got all our regular water to do, you know, regular things with. Uh, but yeah, all the enemies have got like um, are like stamina boosted to start with. Because of the thing we've got, so that's unfortunate. Ooh, nuts! Now, last I remember, those are pretty powerful. 
Yeah, hit it, it will make you explode. Uh, it cause damage. Much more powerful than the, the standard bomb, if memory serves me. Get this damn thing killed. Oh, that's nearly broken. That's not very good. Let's get prepared. Far better. Also, I need to do that as well. There we go. You didn't see that, folks. You didn't see that. Get uh, key item one of three. I was, oh, I, I, was, I was like, what the hell is it? And I'm like, oh, yeah, of course it's that prickly thing. There's the damn chestnut. We have no boat there. I wouldn't mind actually getting a couple more of the items to get to some of these back floors. I wouldn't mind doing the exploring. You know, I know enemies there like, like to kind of kick my ass, but even so. Okay, I just saw the way you threw that damn apple. And I don't like that one damn bit. You're defying the laws of physics as well. This game's doing a lot of physics breaking right now. I'm not a fan. I'd much appreciate that you didn't do it. Thank you. Okay, we got our free key items. We can get the hell out of here as well we want to. Whoops. Ah! And it's strong as well. Nope. Stop dodging my shots. There we go. We got it. <laughs> yes! Why we're finding a trans pivot out in the forest, I don't have any idea. But whatever. Ooh, a holy gem as well. All right, we'll keep hold of that's for uh, throwing as well. There, that could be useful against like a like an undead boss or something. I can see that being pretty useful. A nice find. A very nice find. Ah, there's our last bit of river. That might be all we need in order to. Uh, Help the uh, the tree now. Right, should be interesting. Nope. Gotcha. Oh, this place is so damn powerful. It's partly why I'm kind of using Xiao because like, like Towin's blade is so damn good at the moment. It's like I don't really need to be putting any effort into it. Like I might as well just. Oh, it's you. I might as well just. Um. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, shiny stone is acceptable for you. Very good. Wonderful. But yeah, it's like, I, I might as well put the effort into into Xiao at the moment. Because it's like, why... Why, um... Yeah, why why do anything else? Tone doesn't... Blade doesn't need any uh, improving. Oh, that was close. I think I just got the block on in time. I can't, this is a hideous camera angle. Didn't get it that time. Whoa! Ah! How many damn apples have you got, lady? Apparently a lot. Could have gotten really, really bad. Are you going to turn? You're not good. You're getting the magic crystal, though. All right. Mm, we have got all the... Uh, we've got all the atlas. You know what? I think... When... Thank you. I think I'm actually not going to bother with the rest of the stage. Like, we've got all the atlas. That's all we require. There's only six. We're only going up there for a chest. Oh, we've got enough rivers now for the uh, for the tree at 100%. Oh, we got enough rivers. That's for damn sure. This game making very far as sure that I've got enough. Like, I appreciate that. But yeah, I think uh, I'm not going up there. I can't be honest. i got to protect these feathers, kids. I've only got so many of them. Oh! <gasps> The entrance! Yes! Patamatataki! Onwards! The world must be saved. Oh, that's good stuff. Alright then. First of all, we're going to do the most important thing for the game right now, and that is get the damn entrance sorted to the Wiseau. The tree ink can wait. Let's go pay him a visit, shall we? Come to me out. Please sell your wares. Give me your gold and all your cheese. I want a plant bust, not too bad. Hello! Ho, ho, hmm. 
<laughs> I'm Mr. Mustache. I own this store. Welcome. I know he's saying who and not ho, but like, can you blame me? So the only store in Matataki Village. Not that cheap, but not so expensive either. It'll open soon. So what do you require? He needs an entrance with... You need an entrance to my store. That suggests to me that originally I didn't need the entrance to actually get in here. And they realized at the last minute that that's dumb. Yeah. He wants a roof and a sign. He like the sign on top of the roof. A place that attracts attention is good. All right, then. Yep, yeah, and uh, he'll sell us stuff when he does that. <laughs> I need water all around the store. Right. Alright, let's go grab you. So you want water all around the store. So I need to put you somewhere where I can realistically put water all around you. Pick you up there. Let's put you like over there. Okay. Right. In that case, then, let us do some things. Oh no, I don't have all your stuff. Oh, I need to go further to get your things. Son of a bitch. No, hold on. I need your sign, lady. And what do you need? Yes! Yes! I stole her sign! Everything is good! <laughs> oh, God. Alright, then. You want water all around your place? Okay, then. Oh, shit. Hold on. Right, okay. Um, How do I... Right, this is how I do it. Hold on. Okay. This needs some reconfiguring, everyone. Okay. Uh, we pick that up. And if we move it down to, like, there and down, then we've got all this space here. This makes sense. <clears throat> all right, then. That's better. Right, okay. Then we need to... Okay, let's put another bridge down, like there. Let's move the store to like there. We'll move you. Hmm. We might be a bit out of space here. I might have to be even further creative here. Right, okay. Plan C. We bring it down here. Ah, yeah, look at this. I think he's being in intelligent. Potentially, maybe. Perhaps. What we'll also do is. Uh, hold on. I might have taken out too many there. Like that. And then... Ah, look at this! Being clever! It looks hideous. But as long as it's effective, right? That's all that really matters. Also, we need a wind, a water mill nearby, don't we? Can we put the water mill like there? Yeah! Uh, that, that looks like that sort of works. Very good. Very sufficient. That is some fucking till you've got there, buddy. Woohoo! I know. Just for you, sir, a special discount offer. Hello? 
What now? Oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh, you, you scoundrel! Oh! <sighs> That's a bit more reasonable. <laughs> uh, ever the salesman, aren't you? Ever the damn salesman. Right, what have you got to buy then? You sell cheese for 60. You sell plant busters. Uh, oh my god, you sell Drans Feather. I love you, Al. I love you so much. I want your babies. So there it is. The wise Alsa is going to cost me a cool 2,500 gilder. Now. The situation is that I can definitely buy this. The question is, do I want to buy it? Like, the sword I've got is pretty fucking awesome already. But I can easily muster the money. And muster my 2,500 quid. 2,500 quid? Whatever. You are one lucky owl. Do you know that? Sell some of this regular water. I don't need this much. In fact, I'm actually going to sell it all. Sorry. it. And I'll sell the bread because I've got loads of cheese. I don't need all of that. Oh, I'm not actually allowed to sell these. Okay, then. I was curious to see if you could actually sell these or not. The answer is definitely not. Okay, we'll keep that. Let's sell a couple of these standing pals. I don't need that much. Got well, enough of those left. And I'll still sell the potatoes. It's fine. I know, like, I've got, um, like, all the fishing stuff. I will eventually delve into fishing, but I need to be in a particular mindset to want to do it, I think, and I'm not quite there right now, so. <sighs> All right, then, you damn owl. If you're gonna, uh... Oops, hold on. Let me check one thing first before I do anything. There we go. He's happy. Ah, that would explain it. His home back in Patton, a bog forest when he's the one. Ah, that makes sense now. <laughs> Only when you want it to be, right? Rogue's only special abilities. Special abilities are triggered by growth, but are possessed from the start. Very good. All right, then. So... Feels like this might be a bit of a waste. But you know what? I like you, Al. I like your your gumption, your bravado. <sighs> yeah. I'll see you guys in a moment in the room, eh? <sighs> right then. I I hope I'm not gonna regret this decision. Like, if I am, I'm gonna be very, very sad. I suppose I could always reload the game, worst comes to worst. Eh, it'll be fine. Right, we are going to have a chat with our old, greatest, lovable, friendly hag. I feel like I want to call it something other than hag. Like, I'm amazed this game it just, just calls the old woman hag. I mean, that is quite something. Anyways, I'd like to check out some items. In particular, I would like to check out my money. Give me that. Give me that. And give me the power up powder while we're here as well. And give me one more repair powders too. That sounds good to me. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you. Cheers. Right. Back to, uh, back to the owl. Right then. This better be fucking worth it. So I'm actually going to shop the other way. I've always done it like by speedy selling and such, but we'll do it this way. So if we go and select our gold, but inch is worth a grand a piece. 
So how do we do this? So we put this over here, so you can see plus a thousand, plus two thousand, and then if we take out the uh, the wise owl sword, and we'll plop it over here. There we go. It'll cost me five hundred dollary dues to uh, to do this, but I think it'll be worth it. And you know what? Give me um, give me a drown sever as well. Yep, I will do see so that. Take. Hold on. Oh, we have to press check. Okay, check, check out. Okay, that's how it's done. Okay, you can actually buy more than one wise owl swords as well, folks, which is makes sense. But hey, oh. All right then. So with that done, let's check out the wise owl sword. It's not terrible. For any stretch of imagination. What's this? It's got three slots on it as opposed to the two that the chopper does. So that's an immediate improvement. It's got some wind elemental to it. Okay, it's got some alright stuff on it. Thunder and holy. Okay, cool. That's what we'll work with then. We shall work with the wise owl sword. Now, what that means we're going to need to do though is we need to get the chopper up to level 5. In order to actually, um, you know, get it to where it needs to be. It's going to be kind of awkward because, like, it's so close to actually being up leveled up to there. But I can't do that. So, yeah, that's fine. So, we'll get this up to level 5. We'll break this down. Put that on the Wise Owl Sword. And then we'll rock and roll with that. Sounds good, everyone? Sounds good. It's not worth two and a half for grand, buddy. I'm going to be very cross. Well, at least it didn't cost me five grand. I mean, that would have been pretty out of luck. All right, then. All right. We've got all done. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, actually. <laughs> he says, knowingly, that is completely not the case. We've got more river tiles. We should probably go and get sort out the tree, shouldn't we? Do, 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 Da, 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 da. There we go. Please do the thing you need to do. Whatever that is. Alright. Open the floodgates. Who are these people? They're being paid by the hour, kids. There we go. Nice. I like to declare this one river fully worked. Oh, for the love of Christ. Wait, the, the water's still going. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is like going? <laughs> it's all going this way still. For Christ's sakes. Whatever, folks. The important thing is that we've got it all filled. So that hopefully means the treant is going to be alive and well. Well, howdy! I don't know what kind of voice I meant to go for a freaking tree. <laughs> Something like loud and bellowing, probably? Nah, it's fine. Regardless, you look far better than you did a little while ago, and that makes me happy. Let me just get your loot first. We've got a gourd, a fruit of Eden, and a beast buster. Very nice. How are you doing, sir? Ah. It's gibberish. Uh, thankfully, we have something we can use to hear. And that is the hunter's earring. <laughs> Apparently, that's how you do it. Whatever. 
Now we can understand tree. So, tell me now, little one. Is it you saved me? Yeah, yeah, you owe me big fucking time. Yes. Oh, good heavens, so it was you. Thank you, thank you, thanks, sir. What happens if you press some of these other options? I should probably message that at some point. It's probably like one of those butter thou must situations. Good grief. Oi! Do you know what the dry cleaning is on this damn poncho? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now, I don't want to be presumptive here. I, I would hate to be even considering, considering of doing such a thing, but have I just been fucked out of two and a half grand? I feel like I've just been fucked out of two and a half grand. Uh, I don't know. You want to delve the deep pools of my knowledge? Um, who's that guy living up on the tree? That is Goro. No one likes him. He's got a rotten personality. Aww. Yeah, his dad Fudo passed away. He was a kind-hearted kid. If he finds out the truth, maybe he'll be come back... Right, so making him to accept that the fact his father's actually dead will make him better. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. What? What truth? What did you say? Well, that is that. what you have to find out. Chances are that people in the village will not tell you... Ah, uh, there's... There's skullduggery going on here. Hmm. Maybe this killer snake business may not be uh, what we think it is. How did I reach the moon, the moon people's village we've been hearing about? Yes, I know it well. There is nothing that I don't know about. However, I will not tell you all of these things because of plot reasons. Brown Boo Village. To the far end in the woods. But you'll have to use your head a bit if you want to get in. Understand what I mean. Why can't you just give me the damn answer, tree? RPGs. I swear to God. I'm so, so pissed. You know what? I spent two and a half grand on this damn sword. I'm gonna fucking use it. So help me God, I'm going to use this damn thing. I don't even care. I don't even care if that serpent sword isn't going to break until it's apparently completed its mission. Fuck its mission. That's how pissed I am right now. I am steamed. Well, all these people apparently disappearing to. I don't know. I don't care. Let's go. I want to kill some shit now. Time for murder and pillaging. Let's beat the shit out of some stuff. I'm so angry. Oh, 
Ha. Uh oh. It's a trap. 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 What the hell? <laughs> well, they're dead. The hell are those things? Hmm. I don't know, but they have seemingly been defeated, which is good. Which is good. This is where I came in from, okay. And there's... Hmm. A switch with this door. Seemingly like smashing with something would activate it. Like a big hammer? Maybe. Also, yeah, we didn't fully... Uh... Didn't fully complete that one, but that's fine. Well, it's done for a bit of Legend of Zelda action. Hey, hello! Was this really that good an idea, Toen? I suspect it wasn't. For I assume boss time. Is this the killer snake? Oh, good job. Yeah, well done. You moron. Am I dead? Wait, what? hell was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I get what was happening there, but like, it... <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think we need some help, everyone, to defeat this snake. That is one of the weirdest effective death animations I've ever seen. Like, freaking yawn, it most definitely is not. Right. We never chat with Goro here, folks. He may or may not want to have a conversation. Unfortunately, this isn't his choice anymore. Also, we're going to have a look around. There could be some nastily hidden boxes around here. It wouldn't surprise me. Not in this game anymore. It is morning. Very good. Okay, just the two. Another gourd, very nice. There he is. Look, buddy, I... How do I start this conversation? <laughs> yep, it does. It kind of murdered me. I don't know. You wouldn't know anyway. Okay. So, we need a way to convince you to get involved here. What happens if we now attempt to do this fight, maybe? Like, or better yet, let's try you. Oh, the mask indicates a hunter's rank. Oh, I get it. So you've been wearing the same freaking thing for like 50 years. Out of the shot. Right, I don't think we're going to get the help I'm looking for from you then, am I? Doesn't look like it. Maybe we can get the treant to uh, give us some advice on what to do against this killer snake, maybe. I can... I can see this. If not, then I've only got one other option. And that, if that doesn't work, then we're boned. <laughs> 
Do you have any advice on what to do with the killer snake? You don't. Ah, shit. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Well, then, this has to work, my other plan. Because if it doesn't work, then I don't know how I'm meant to continue on with the game. Sorry, they just had a pretty quick break there. Right, okay. So, if the trade's not going to give me a hand... Although, saying that, I'm asking him for advice when I think... He already did give me the advice, didn't he? The mission. You must complete the mission. There is only one. This has to be it, right? Besides, I don't want to get eaten again. That would be kind of awkward. Time to die, buddy! Believe me, I am an expert at killing giant snakes. If you didn't know. Get him! Fuck you, buddy! Oh, he's not dead yet. No, he's, uh, he's, he wants more. Frickin' hell. <laughs> Literally chopped his head off. Nice. All right, then. The Serpent's Lord has completed his mission. It is now an evolvable sword. It can also now break. And for some reason, it had this on it. A bone pendant. I bet I know who that belongs to. Where is it? There it is. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that's the mission, folks. The Serpent Sword. It is that. It makes sense. Can I actually go in here? No! Ooh. I'm gonna get out of here then. Let's go take it to Goro, folks, so that he can uh, accept the past. Game, get game, get game. game. <laughs> it's me trying to rush it and like slamming the select button. Did not work out. Well, let's turn the bad news. Um, no, but like, <sighs> look, we got a problem, buddy. Um, so the killer snake people were telling you about me, everyone about what the. What the hell? Ah! <laughs> oh, shit! Just a little damn scary. Goro, how have you been? It is your father! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dad. Ah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, he kind of is. Having suddenly left you all alone. Goro, I'm no longer of this world. I am a spirit now. Um, duh. Before I died, I put a message for you into a pendant. The father you see is that message. The evil force that attacked this village is now devouring the entire world. Oh, well, great. If you're allies, you must stop it. If you are really my son, then show me. Honor me and all hunters through your courage and battle. <laughs> no! That's not how this story goes. I was not betrayed by my fellow villagers. You were totally betrayed by your fellow villagers. <laughs> I was said to be the best hunter in the village. Killed even that brutal white tiger in one blow. But my body was being gradually weakened by an illness. Good grief. 
And I realized I had very little time left for myself. So you didn't tell anyone? You probably wouldn't allow him to die of illness. <coughs> Fair enough. <coughs> oh dear, apologies. So he basically, right, taken with me several villagers. So basically it was like, I'm either going to be the greatest hunter in, like, existence, or I'm going to die. Yikes. To a reckless fight. I, of course, fought my best. It was obvious I was not a match for the killer snake with my body weakened by illness. Damn. Fading flame of life starting to flicker away. They just walked away like, well, guess he's lost this one. <laughs> really? They stayed to the end to watch you get slowly squeezed to death? That's that's a bit fucking sick. Just, just putting it out there. Making me as the strongest hunter that ever was. <sighs> because... Plot. Because plot. We need to think of a good reason to get you to join our party. This will have to do. Go fight, Gor. Join me of our warriors and fight evil. Be a greater man than me. Yeah, not going to be quite that easy, I guess. No. I hate you, father cliche. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, 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 Goro. Oh, well, that, that'll do. Sure. Well, if I ever needed a thumbnail for this video, I just found it. <laughs> I just found it. Thanks, Goro. Cheers. Whenever you're in trouble, I'll do better than you. <laughs> Thanks, Goro. Alright, so we have ourselves our third character of the game then. Very, very nice. Let's go and check out Goro then. Who is up here? What's his initial stats? A hundred health. So he's actually got more health than both Xiao and Toan, but it was actually a note that his first is down at the bottom. So I was curious to see what kind of entry stats uh, these people would get. Right, let's have a look at his weapon then. So he's got the mallet. Uh, so it's a default weapon. Base stats, not terrible. His attack of a base attack of 20. That's pretty damn good. Like, I'm I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking that at all. Alright, then well, what we're going to do then, I suppose, is... We've got some items a bit piece of use. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you two bits of health. We're going to give you one bit of health. And then we're going to give you one bit of health. And then we're going to give you some of that. We're going to give you some of that. We're going to give you some of that. And... We'll give it a Yow, sure. You have the last one. Merry Christmas. Oh, it refills it as well. Oh, that's a bonus. Nice. He's got a base defense of 12 as well, which isn't terrible either. So that's pretty good. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right, then. So, yeah, I'm going to call that a victory. We've managed to persuade Goro to join us in some form or fashion, which is, which is acceptable. Make sure there's nothing hiding here, by the way. Like that. Or like that. Or like that. Son of a bitch game. 
hide in all sorts of things. I'm wise to it now. I'm wise to it. You know what, Goro, have some extra health on the house. Merry Christmas. Also, I should probably um, wipe those there as well. Very good. Lovely. Right then. So, we have one last bit of business we'll be doing in this video before we call this an end of this long end uh, video. It's going to be plenty of editing. Come on back out. Right, first things first, I want to have a chat with you, Baron. It is your real name. You lied to me, I think. Where? <laughs> He's fled. He's run. <laughs> He's realized I've worked out his secret. He's like, I must go. I must go now. My planet needs me now. He's not going to tell me anything. Whatever. You know why it's fine. I was just going to, like, talk to him and just try and berate and embarrass him, but it's okay. One thing I want to do is to uh, get down this gate here, and then we'll call that a day, I reckon. Alright, onwards we go. Through here. Uh, having, uh, having three figures health, that's quite nice, I will. So there we go, Toen. There's his little uh, picture there, actually. Not too bad. Alright. Oh, is that his only attack to add attack like that? I can charge him up. Which does that. Okay, then. That's something I've got to be careful of, then, basically. Well. Pfft, total miss. Woohoo! Alright, then. Good stuff. All right then, so yeah, next time we're actually going to be proceeding into a little bit more of the Alpha Forest. We'll give Gore a little spin around and see how we go. Uh, but other than that, we will uh, go from there. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.